the royal family lied. Meghan spoke every single thing that she had to say in the Oprah interview and all of it was true. And we can see it being revealed time and time again, members of the squad. And someone called Myra said this, that if there was even a small hint in those findings that Meghan bullied any staff, the royal family and the British media that literally drool at anything negative about Meghan, to write about anything negative about Meghan, would have made sure that it was front page news, not bury this bogus investigation targeting the Duchess of Sussex. This bogus bullying investigation targeting a woman so openly bullied by UK tablets day in, day out, for so long and for so many years, members of the squad. And I'm very, very proud to say this. I'm proud to say the fact that many people are finally opening their eyes to all, every single thing that Megan experienced at the hands of the UK tabloids and the royal family. People are waking up to the treatment that Megan has indeed been subjected to. Now, members of the squad, someone said this, that even if you don't like Meghan Markle, there is no justification for how she was treated. Zero. Zilch. None. She was bullied while pregnant with baby Archie. As a new mom, and even when she was pregnant with baby Galibe Diana, when she was pregnant, she was falsely accused of bullying you know, members of the squad, I think that I've spoken about this, you know, for a long, long time. And yet, the hypocrisy of the royal family of calling Prince Harry, Meghan and Archie much-loved members of the royal family, at the same time, leveling false and bogus bullying allegations against a pregnant woman members of the squad never ever forget never ever forget and i'm so proud i'm proud of members of the squad for making it perfectly clear to the entire world that indeed the royal family lied they lied and they're continuing to lie about megan the duchess of sussex and even someone called mohammed zahir said this that this harassment of megan markle is just sickening it never ends. It's been going on for so many years. So, so long. For so many years. It's been years and years of insults. Years of abuse that Megan has been subjected to. Years of racism. Years of harassment by the press, by UK tablets, and even the farm. You know, in Kate Milton's birthday, what did the tablets do? They insulted Megan at Kate's birthday. To prop up Kate Milton. In Prince William's birthday. What did they do? What did the tabloids do? They talked about Prince William's anger and grief. You know about Harry. The obsession and the harassment of UK tabloids. Targeting Prince Harry and Meghan. Meant to benefit William and Kate Milton. Is so openly clear for every single person to see. Everyone can see it. And the whole world is finally opening their eyes. To what we see. For every single thing that Megan has had to endure and experience. And someone said that. Kensington Palace refused to release its diversity numbers. Because it's all white staff. All white staff. Did not know how to deal with a biracial duchess. As a matter of fact. They no, did not want to serve a biracial woman. A mixed race woman. That pissed them off so much. They could not control their racism towards Meghan. And that's why even, you know, it was revealed. The fact that the Queen, you know, the palace has policies, you know, to keep minorities, that is black people, you know, like you and me, you know, far away from office positions or office, office roles at the palace and only reserved for, for minorities. You know, the only position that they're reserved for is servant's position. That's the only job you can get as a black, brown, mixed-race person, you know, 
in the palace, at the palace. That's a policy. That's a policy that's actually, you know, continuing to this day. That's actually active, very, very much active by the palace. But apparently, we have Prince William saying, hey, look, we are very, very much not a racist family. At the same time, his staff constantly abuses Meghan, calls her all manner of, you know, demeaning, insulting names, racist comments made towards Meghan. Members of the squad, insults, talking back behind her back, talking bad about Megan behind her back. At the same time, what did the palace do? They accused Megan of bullying. Yet we all saw, we all saw, every single person can honestly say that they all saw exactly what happened to Megan. You saw the name calling, you saw the insults, you saw the abuse. Every single person can honestly say that they saw that. And I'm glad that people are finally speaking up to the experience that Megan has had to endure, the racism that Megan has had to endure, and the harassment and the bullying that we all see. It's not Megan who's the bully. It's the palace that is the bully. Members of the squad. The case of palace staff, they followed the lead of their master, Prince William, who called Megan all manner of disgusting names that personally I can't say. I won't say it, you know, in front of all of you. I can simply show you what he said, but I can't bring myself to utter the words from Prince William targeting Meghan. The bullying of Meghan Markle, the bullying of Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex. The royal family are responsible for the bullying and the abuse that Meghan and Harry have endured. And that's a fact. And I wanted the royal family to release this bogus bullying report and now they've chosen to hide it to continue lying the royal family are made up of liars 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 and liars to continue lying about it the royal family and the tabloids they shouted it from the rooftops when they announced the trumped up bullying investigations against megan but they are hush hush on barring it released a report Release the report. We want to see that report because we know that Megan is innocent. And right now, they're trying to have something to hold, you know, a cloud to hold over, you know, Megan. And that's wrong. That's plainly just wrong. Wrong, 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 and wrong. And someone may say that the amazing part is watching supposedly sane people ignore our family, giving millions to Virginia Guffrey while accepting taxpayers' funding so they can choose to be enraged by a couple because of what? Recognizing racism, abuse, and knowing they do not have to stay trapped like others. Harry and Meghan, they saw the racism and they said they want no part of it. They don't want to experience it anymore. They don't want to take abuse and smile for the camera for UK tabloids. They don't want that. They knew that they deserve something better and they packed up and they left. And to this day, UK tabloids have not gotten over the fact that Harry packed up and left. They haven't gotten over Harry leaving to this day. They still obsess over Prince Harry and Meghan time and time again. They have failed to destroy Meghan and that really, really acts them. God continues to protect and shine his light on Prince Harry and Meghan's beautiful family. God continues to shine a light upon them and may God always Protect Harry, Meghan, Archie, and baby girl, Lilibet, Diana, members of the squad. May God continue to bless and protect B baby Archie, baby girl, Lilibet, Diana, Harry, and Meghan, and Doria. May God protect them. I want to end this podcast by saying this. Harry's own words. Him waking up to the fact that to seeing, to hearing his wife crying that's what harry woke up to after the royal family with this bogus bullying investigation against megan and now they're trying to bury it release the report release the report megan has endured so much pain at the hands of the farm and the uk tabloids and they need to answer for their actions towards a pregnant woman the violation of Megan's human rights. The violation of her rights 
by the tabloids and the royal family. They committed dehumanizing actions, the bullying, harassment, insults, abuse against Megan, and they continue that to this day. And someone needs to be held accountable for their actions. The royal family, the farm, the tablets, they need to be held accountable for their actions. Members of the squad, I'm grateful for this community for highlighting the royal family lied because they are made up of liars. Megan is innocent as I end this podcast. Megan is innocent. And let the whole world know this. Let the whole world know this. Megan is innocent. The real bullies are the UK tablets, the farm. They are the real bullies and the online trolls targeting Megan. Paid for by the farm and the UK tablets. I want to hear your opinion about every single thing that is happening right now. And with that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for daily and consistent content. Keyword daily and consistent. And stay tuned to our next video. Megan, continue living a life of peace and happiness alongside your husband, Harry, and your two beautiful children, baby Archie and Libertana. The Sussex Squad have seen everything that has happened to you and the whole world now is finally opening their eyes. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. May God bless and protect Harry, Megan, Archie, Libertana, Doria Lagland and all members of the squad. Love you, family, always and forever. Hello, members of the Squad Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that, I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day, and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.